In this example, I'm going to show you we just had another site that was hacked that's on GoDaddy and uh, it's hosted by GoDaddy. So this is one of the reasons why you know we don't typically um, highly recommend using GoDaddy as your host. It is less expensive, however, this is one of the things that can happen. So for example, um, when you Google this site, ProSold Realty, this morning, it's uh, December 28, 2015. You're going to see number one, it says right here on Google, this site may be hacked. This is horrible for your SEO and will affect your SEO. So bad, bad. Um, and I want to show you, like when I actually click on it, it goes straight to a Viagra website. Even though we are in the proper URL, my web address says the proper URL, it goes to a Viagra site. You're going to have customers run away faster than, you know, you can say pro sold realty in this kind of case. Um, additionally, you know, I did some other searches. I just searched for prosoldrealty.com and you'll see some of these other websites. Um, here's a PDF right to the Viagra. Um, some of them may or may not work. Let's try this one. Same thing. And you can see I know these are actual pages. Same thing. And this one's actually working. But you can tell it's like here's one great example of an article. Um, yesterday it was doing it and it was doing it to. Um, now, this one's not going to hijack because this is an IDX page, so that one will be fine. But um, I know that, for instance, yesterday this was going to an actual page called Great Community Example Article, it wasn't going to the PDF. And I know that is an actual page because I have that page open right here. So it hijacks actual pages on your site. Even if I'm on the actual site, if I type the site in, here's the home page. And I just showed you a minute ago how when I clicked on the home page from Google, it actually went to the Viagra site. So I am logged into GoDaddy. And right inside GoDaddy, um, you can actually see some of these things. Like here's one capabilities casserole, PHP. This is virus. Shows me it was done 12:17 uh, at 3:55 a.m. Uh, this one likely is as well. So these are where this is where this kind of comes in, and that's just a couple of the examples. In order to get rid of them, you actually can't just delete these files. You have to clean your entire site. If you um, happen to have my hosting with me, you're protected from this. This won't happen. You won't have this happen, and then have it affect your SEO. Um, you're also going to have something like this. I'm going to clean your site. It's the MyWP sub. I'm going to secure it. I'm going to keep it up to date and I'm going to back it up every single week. So luckily they do have that and I can restore their entire site. I don't just create a, um, a, a where I do like a like Apple's time machine where I just take a snapshot. That is not going to restore your site. That's what the Google hosting does. That's what almost every hosting company does. This is totally different. You really can't get this kind of automatic backup through your hosting company. I actually back your site up separately and then I store all, I back up your, your database and every single file on your site and then I store it on Dropbox. It is not stored on your hosting. It's not stored on my hosting. It's stored on Dropbox, an entirely separate site. So it is safe. So right now, not only is um, ProSold Realty been hacked, but so have any other websites she has on this hosting. So that's a bummer because that's going to be other sites that I don't cover. So in this case, um, you want to go to my website, go to yoursiteneedsme.com, go to services, and go down to the WordPress security updates and backups, WP sub. Click on that and you'll see here I explain what it is, what you get, and down here you can purchase it in a yearly or monthly. This is only for WordPress and that's what I do for, for people that um, want some extra protection if they host with GoDaddy. If you want the best protection I can give you, go to my services and go to WordPress hosting. We migrate WordPress sites for free over to our hosting. It costs you nothing to move your site. My hosting is $39 a month. The hosting and um, WP sub you can get for $69 a month or $663, which the yearly is a discount. So you can do the yearly 
hosting or monthly hosting, or you can get it with the WP sub, which is the $165 discount for the yearly and $69 for the monthly. Um, why would you want it with the hosting? Because in addition to having, having a faster, better, more secure hosting environment, you're also getting me to log into your site every single week. I have a real person that logs into your site every single week and updates it by hand, and we back it up and back it up off of the hosting, which uh, we will take snapshots of your site automatically using our regular hosting, just like GoDaddy would. It's just a snapshot, and I can revert or back up your site a day or week or whatever it may be, but that is still not a full backup that is stored off of the hosting, not on your server. So keep that in mind. The WP sub is invaluable. Protect your investment. It's a very small investment to make after you spent so much time building this site and putting money into it in time. And it also saves you the headache of logging into your site every time you log in, having to go into your dashboard and your updates and keeping your site up to date, which is very, very important for security reasons as well. So there you go. That's why WP Sub is so important. That's why it's important to secure your site, keep it updated, and keep it backed up. And that's why we always recommend hosting with us uh, at WP Engine. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 517-917-0582 or drop us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Have a great day. Yeah. Yeah.